Hi guys, we're back and today we're on a tour in Eureka, as you can see here. We're gonna check out this place, see how they do their products and we're gonna have a good interview with the CEO. Okay, that was a small factory tour. Now we're going upstairs to check out the conference room and have a chat with the CEO. Okay, we're in the Eureka building and we're gonna go inside the conference room. Follow me. Check out this beauty. This is the Eureka conference room. Let's go and check out. Step in the light regulation. Here are the exclusive parts from America, the burrs. As you can see, we have all the different types. Diamond one arriving soon on Espresso Coffee Shop as well. So check it out. And the whole Mignon lineup. This is the heart of Eureka, the, where all the strategic and most important decisions of the brand are taken. And yeah, it's a pleasure to be here. And soon we were going to interview uh, the CEO that's going to tell us a bit about Eureka, its history, and its future plans. Maurizio Fiorani and now we're gonna ask him some questions about Eureka. Uh, for example, what is the philosophy here in Eureka? Uh, we are a very very simple philosophy. What we use, uh, uh, the con our concept is uh, that we are of course a manufacturing company that we produce everything in Florence, uh, here in Firenze, but our philosophy is the philosophy of a service company, in the sense that uh, our goal is to give service to our customers and to try to be very close to the markets and try to find the best solution in order to simplify the life to our customers. This is the, the, the key point that, that brings us to the development of new products or new services uh, of the organization of the company, etc. Uh, so, we've seen that Eureka in the last years has developed some highly versatile, some highly technologic machines with a very good design. So, and this it has been because of a high investment in research and development. So, how important is research and development and innovation in such a company? Uh, innovation is another key. I mean, what we, we consider the three pillars of our company is innovation, service and quality. So innovation is the, the key number one because you can give fantastic service but you don't have the products, uh, is nothing. So our R&D department uh, is now of roughly 12% of the total of the employees of the company. So, uh, I mean, the innovation, uh, I mean, our goal, our dream is to become, uh, in a way, state of the art in terms of innovation in the grand business. So, innovation is key. Another key for us is service, because, as I said before, uh, I mean, in this market, it's important to, to provide to our customer the, the right product with the right timing, with the right uh, tools in order to simplify their life. And another point is quality. Quality for us is another key that we cannot uh, give up. Okay, you were mentioning just now 
uh, that your aim is as well to always start to become to come closer to the customer. We know that in the last years there have been various changes in the market, especially in the market of the specialty. Um, you already developed some coffee grinders that go in that direction. So will you introduce other coffee grinders that are closer to what the client wants? Uh, I mean, it's easy for me to say yes, but now I'm going to explain why. I mean, our first product in the specialty business uh, that we introduced in, uh, in uh, SCA in, uh, in Berlin a few months ago is the Atom Pro. This is uh, what we did show in order to explain what we want to do in the specialty business. So a silent grinder, very performing, uh, no clamps, uh, 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 big, uh, uh, very speed, so a lot of uh, many grams per second and also with a very low retention thanks to some patents that we did. And now this is uh, one product, but in our R&D department we are developing other new product that will be ready in host that are looking at this specialty market that in our opinion the specialty market is not anymore a niche but is becoming a, a, an important market that is affecting also all the traditional way of uh, uh, preparing coffee. So the specialty business uh, moving from a niche to a big part of the market. That's why we are developing, at least now we are working on two different market segments, uh, two different products that should cover new uh, way of grinding coffee, I would say. Then we will show in host uh, in a couple of months. And of course, in host, you will see some new products and we're always waiting for the new Atom Pro. Well, when will it go out? Uh, the new Atom Pro will be available a uh, few units uh, within the month of July. And then we're going to start step by step in September. We're going we're gonna to prepare a batch, the batch of uh, roughly uh, 50 pieces. And then from October on, we start uh, developing to the market. Just an additional point, the development of Atom Pro was uh, very long because we did a long test, uh, a long field test worldwide with uh, roughly 20 uh, barista specialty all over the world that they gave, uh, they gave, uh, they gave back to us several information concerning not only the technique but also the usability of the product, the way of simplifying the life to the barista, etc. etc. So I think this product is the result of a long process of improvement under the technological viewpoint from our company, but also with the support of many baristas worldwide, from Sweden to US to China to UK, etc. Uh, I mean, Mm, I'm, I'm very, I would say, satisfied and proud of the job we did. And we're very satisfied of being able to sell these products. Thank you so much. Thank you very Maurizio. much. Thank you. Grazie. So that was it for our exclusive tour here in Eureka. We really do thank the whole Eureka team for making us feel like we were home and check out our next videos.